I'm My Little Butterflies and today I'm going to be doing the fall time cozy time book tag. So this tag was created by Sam's Nonsense but I actually seen this from the book hoarder. Um, but I'm going to link both channels down below so you guys can check it out. I was not tagged. I never tagged but my feelings are not hurt. So getting right into it, the first question is Crunching Leaves. The world is full of color. Choose a book that had reds, oranges, or yellows on the covers. The first book that I have is, of course, Illuminate. It has reds, oranges, and I guess yellows on here. Um, what other book would I choose? That's the only book I think I have on my cover. I mean, on my shelf that's like that. Actually, that's red, oranges, yellows. It has all those things together. And then the second book is a book that doesn't have physically. I have it on my Kindle and it's called Senior Season by Tom Parada. It's a short story actually and it's has it's a grade but it has the different fall leaves on the cover. It's like it's supposed to be like a concrete slab with fallen fall leaves on the ground. The second question is cozy sweater. It's finally cold enough to don warm cozy clothing. What books gives you the warm fuzzies? Oh my god, tongue tied reading that. Um, actually, I have one book about, I have one book for this, but I could not remember who the author was. I know it's either Brenda Jackson or Rochelle Alice, because it was a book that I read a while ago. It's a romance book. It's like, I can't remember the name of the book, but I know it's, it's like, um, this woman, she went up for like a ski trip, and she, it, I don't even remember if she was with a stranger or it was somebody that she rolled up with, but she got dizzy, passed out, they got, you know, stuck in the cabin and stuff. So, you know, romance happened in this Snowden cabin. And it's either by Brenda Jackson or Rochelle Islands, because I know I read from them a lot back in the G. Like, when I first started reading romance novels at like 12 <laughs> and 13. <laughs> them a lot so it had to be one of those number three is fall storm the wind is howling and the rain is pounding choose your favorite book or genre that you like to read on a stormy day so for this i didn't have a certain book but there is a genre that i think is perfect for stormy days and i think that's just romance books like adult romance i don't really care for ya romance i told you it's just too much shit. but adult romance is i think it's really good for a stormy day and today is a stormy day so i'm gonna go look through my kindle but I think romance is an amazing genre to read on a stormy day. It just makes you warm and fuzzy and it's a quick read. You know, you could, by the time the storm's over, you'll be done. Number four is Cool Crisp Air. What's the coolest character you'd want to trade places with? Now, I had a couple for these because I wasn't 100%. Okay, so the first thing that came to mind was Gwen from Ruby Red. And then I was like, well, Gwen tra time travels and you know, that's all fine and dandy. But you have to remember, bitch, you black. So depending on how far in time we're going back, it's not going to be too good for you. You know, it wasn't, you know, we weren't really that respected that far back until the day. You know, it would have been a beautiful to see, you know, it, it seemed so beautiful in Ruby Red to see, you know, the different time periods and how carefree it was. But then you have to realize how things were in real life. The book that was nice, but for real, for real. <laughs> then I started thinking about Rat Queens because I love Dee. She just has this spunk about her. She, I, I love her. I, I identify with her character not just because she's black, just how she acts. Like she's a very um, like strong, strong character. Like you know, she doesn't tell you when she's going through something, but she's always there to help you with your problems. I am that person. I'm like that. I won't tell you when I'm going through something, but I'm always offering that shoulder for you to lean on, for you to cry on if you going through something. I'm one of those people. I try to figure it out myself, try to fix it myself before things, you know, happen and go bad. So I identify with her personality. And then any of the girls from the high five fight the high five fight club I would trade places with. I just love that 90s feel, that that 90s love, that 90 nostalgia. I love it. Like I would have traded places with any one of these girls. I love it. Okay, so any one of them. Even I think her name is Pat, the God Girl. I think her name is. I think. I'm not hundred <laughs> percent. But any one of them I would totally be willing to trade places with. Number five, hot apple cider. What underhype book do you want to see become the next biggest hottest thing? And for this I had two answers. The first thing is Out of Lyra by Chantel Godori. She does not pay me to advertise with her people, never have, okay? But I really loved this retelling. I, I never even heard of the original and I liked it, you know? And I think she's an underhyped author. You know, she's I guess she's like a 
I don't want to say she's newer, but you know, she's not that out there. But I think Alalira would be amazing. I think they need to be on more people's shelves. If you like retellings, it's a grim fairy tale retelling of Alalira. And I really enjoyed it. And the next thing that I have is of a whole series. <laughs> the Bluefoot series, people. Underhyped as fuck. Like, I think Bluefoot series is very underhyped. This is like bringing back amazing school memories, elementary memories, and middle school memories. And did we read these in high school? I don't know if we read any of these in high school, but. The Bluefoot High series needs to become like a Netflix series or it, I, why don't I say a movie? I think we should do a, a Netflix series and do like an episode, like an hour long episode for each book. There's 20, 21 books, okay? 21 books, people. We can get a, a good season or two out of the Bluefoot series, okay? I think they're very under hype. They really prepare you for high school. I've never did with any of this in high school though, y'all, but it makes high school seem like, like a, a a fantasy world reading these books this is like where do they do this at you know i love this like i will always think they under and they need way way more press and more acknowledgement than they get and then number six is coat scarves and mittens the weather has turned and it's time to cover up what's the most embarrassing book cover you own that you like to keep hidden in the public so for this i was started thinking any of my romance books any of my romance books not because the cover is bad and most of the time it's the cut if the cover is decent it's the title that'll kill you okay so any of my romance books but i'm like those you won't see anyway because a lot of those are on my kindle okay so then physically the only book that i have physically that i am kind of embarrassed about is a justified bitch by hg mckinnis and it's the title because i used to, when i was reading this um i was working at a grocery store so I would have it sitting at my register when I didn't have customers. So then when customers would come in there and see it up there, and it's kind of embarrassing. I can't say, oh, it's called a justified bitch. I just showed them the book and it's like, oh, okay. So then it's like, yeah, kind of embarrassing, you know. So, <laughs> but I love this book. It was amazing. I thought it gave it five stars. I wonder when, it's supposed to be part of a series, a mystery series. This is, at least that's how it was advertised. This is supposed to be book one. So, and this was a, um, an arc that I got. So hopefully, she's, I keep checking and I want to know where it's book two because I love this. Now don't get me wrong, I like it by itself, but if it's a series, then you know, I'm ready to follow whoever's next. You know, so ready. Then the last question I have is pumpkin spice. I don't really get the hype with pumpkin spice, though. Like I've never had pumpkin spice anything my whole life. Never, okay? So I don't get the hype with it, but What's your favorite fall time comfort food or foods? And for this, um, I didn't pick food because I don't really have a favorite comfort food for fall. Unless, you know, you know it's about to be gumbo season because, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. But that, that doesn't count as fall. But, you know, it's gumbo season. So down here, I love me some gumbo. It's about to be dressing season. I love me some turkey dressing or whatever. You know, delicious. <laughs> but... But when I started thinking about this, I was just like, for fall though, because that's more close to winter. Um, I, one of the things was hot chocolate. That was like the only edible thing on my list is hot chocolate. I love me some hot chocolate. I like tea too, but I drink tea any time of the year. That doesn't count. I love me some hot chocolate. I don't remember the last time I had a nice cup of hot chocolate. And then the last thing that I have is not edible. <laughs> I, I don't think it is. Uh, some people have weird things out there. But my fall scented candles and wax melts, okay? I don't have any new ones this year yet. I'm waiting on my mom. I need to order. Um, she sells Sensei. In case you guys are looking for a Sensei representative, I will link her down in the description box. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because um, her scent smells so freaking amazing, okay? Um, I need to get, I'm trying to get ready for fall right now. I burnt out my, uh, what it was, pecan waffle candle that I had last year. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I burnt it to the bottom. It was amazing. I need to get another one of those, but I need to get me some wax melts too. Because I've been really into wax melts lately since my mom started selling them. So, yeah, that's all I have for this tag. I don't really have anybody I want to tag. You're welcome to do it if you haven't done any. I like to do tags pertaining to the season and the holiday. So, I'm going to be looking for like a scary tag. So link that down below too if there's any Halloween tags out there that um that you guys think I might want to do. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, oh, oh. Time for me to give you my clue of my video about what I'm wearing for Halloween. Forgot. <laughs> Almost forgot.
So this is the third thing. There are four items I'm wearing for Halloween, people. This is number three. It should be coming together. It should be coming together. So the third item that I have to see if you can guess what I'm going to be for Halloween are these purple glasses. So let's remember the first item that I had was my orange wig. The second item that I showed you was my green cargo shorts. And this item is my purple glasses. So, three out of four of the things, guys. I would love to hear your guesses down below. If you haven't already guessed, I would love to see how close you are, how warm you are to guessing this character that I'm going to be. And the sad part is, y'all, I love these glasses. Like, I was going to take the lenses out, but I like them. I honestly like these glasses. And I'm like, God, I just got them for, you know, yeah, for Halloween. But I need to get real glasses. And I want to know if I can take the lenses out of these and get whatever prescription lenses I'm going to need. And put that in these glasses because I actually like these glasses. Though. Like, I don't know, y'all. But, I would love to hear your guesses down below. Thank you for watching my video. You're welcome to do this tag. If you do it, whether you do it on the video or on your blog, and link it down below so I can check it out. I would love to see Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. Baby, just let it be. So won't you ride?